What is going on guys? Today we have got the Shapeshifters Cup 2 objectives. If you're tired of if you're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day, make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order and hopefully you have a good day. So in today's video, we are looking at what you need to do to get all of these done and What's the best method? What's the best way of getting this done? How and where should you put your team? And how easy is it to get done? So we had it literally yesterday. We've managed to uh, finish it off on the last day. It was a little bit harder than I actually thought it was going to be in terms of to get it all done if you didn't necessarily get three or four wins per day, basically. We have got the same one as before. Score five goals in any game mode. You can just go in beginner squad battles, get five goals and dip and you'll get yourself a hit. Hero Shapeshifters player on loan. Not a bad little requirement, to be honest. You get a nice little loan player, and you, if he's a good one, you can go put him into this. And I like that they've done it with the heroes only, and it isn't all of the Shapeshifters, as they definitely could have done that. Then we have the standard. We have the win all the way up to 21 again, and we have got... Two 80 plus rare, rare e figs, jumbo premium gold, premium electrum, a token on four, so you can technically get a token today. Premium gold players, as again, mega pack, mega pack, five 83 plus rare e figs, a player pick of an 84 plus or above. I would like to think that does have hero shapeshifters in. But that is not confirmed until we get to that 11 wins and we see somebody get it. Mega pack, 5 rare e-figs. Mega pack again, 5 rare e-figs again. And 85 plus to finish. And then the final one, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm guessing somebody might have that. I would like to think that may be an actual shapeshifter pick. Again, speculation until we see anything. Um, let's see actually. Does Footbin have that answer? Because they may have the actual code of that pick. Where is... Where is the pick? So, there it is. So, to finish off, they don't actually have it either. That's brilliant. So, it's a... Oh, okay, hold on. Complete this objective and earn. Does it say that? Oh, okay. Um, complete this objective to earn a Shapeshifters player pick times two. I don't know. I think that's one player. I don't know if that's a one of two. I can imagine it's a one of three player pick for the third team, I want to say. So you may be able to get a hero in that. We'll find out on day 21. So as we did last week, it is the exact same way to go into this. Not in SBCs. You go into the friendlies and we figure out what sort of team. I don't even know where friendlies is anymore. What is FIFA? But you go into it, and then obviously it is under the Shapeshifter Cup. We knew something was going to was gonna happen because... Oh, no, they've actually changed it. So, uh, okay, one lone player. You must have a minimum of one Shapeshifters player or a Foot Hero player. So you've got to have at least one of them in. So that is why, obviously, they give the loan. If you don't necessarily have a Shapeshifters in your club, then you can go get the five goals, and that will then kickstart to start with. You have five games a day. So including today, you've got how many days? You've got a whole week to get this done, I think it is. Uh, you've got oh, 13 days remaining. So you actually have the final amount of time, which isn't bad because you've got basically 60 goals, which is quite nice. And let me just double check on the objectives because it says that on Footbin. But this would mean that it's basically over the next course of the two weeks to get it done, which is a lot easier. Yeah, you've got 13 days. So you have five attempts a day. So 14 days in total. That, to be honest, is not that bad. You have about 70 games or 60 70 games if i'm right there that is more than enough you basically need to win one or two a day for the next two weeks to get it done it obviously does mean that the fourth team that you get to so basically when this one's gone in seven days you'd be on team four so you'd obviously get players from them if you don't manage to get it done in a week and obviously everybody wants that janola 98 just look at that card in terms of the team it is a standard again it is a first two objective no uh, kind of specific rules one loan is max if that happens to be your shapeshifter, it happens to be your shapeshifter. I'll run you through my team because uh, it's basically everybody's main team. And I think a lot of people were more comfortable using their main team and definitely harder to get past than they are any other way. So this is personally what I use at this moment in time until maybe we get the Solskjaer SBC done as he would definitely replace ne uh, Neymar over there. 
but we basically have Robertson, who normally it's Fred, but because we need a shapeshifter card, which, again, could be Solskjaer, and we can go back to Fred, you would basically have your standard team. This is personally how I go into matches. I go into the 4-4-2. A lot of people actually have uh, different teams, different formations. This is what I like to run. It gives me the two solid CDMs in Zidane and Robertson. Zidane obviously pushes forward a little bit more than Robertson does. We've got the two wingers if we really wanted to, to kind of push the wing up and Mbappe and Richarlison will let the rest done. With Marquinhos and Virgil, them two are just an absolute perfect pairing for me. And then the, the, the fullbacks are standard. We've always loved Cancelo with this year with his team of the year being one of the most played cards we've used now we've got his team of the season if it wasn't for him being a one upgrade i'd still be using the team of the year as i like the design carlos alberto he is what carlos alberto is he's an absolute monster right back we finished his sbc so we had to get him done as before we was using a mid eto but that is pretty much all you need to do. It is the main team. Get your five games done every single day. You basically, for, for this, the best way to do is be very conservative straight off the bat. If you've got the kickoff, keep the ball. That first attack is absolutely lethal. And the amount of games that I've won off that first attack is crazy. But as soon as, obviously, you get uh, kind of the possession overturned, or even if you don't start with the possession... Don't go rushing in like a madman because that is the easiest way that somebody can pick you apart. I would play it safe, get it going, or scrap that, go out for an all-out battle. If you don't really care how many you win per day, because we have got a few, a few days to get this done, then absolutely go all out. The game shouldn't last too long. I think the most I've ever had is about 65 minutes, but normally it's 20 minutes and under per game. You normally find that somebody slips up quite early on and that's when then you've got to capitalize um straight off the bat but personally nice tiki tacky football get it done early get the wins and we can get this all completed and get our player pick at the end because obviously that is the the be all and end all for it we will be doing a video on probably more the uh pick at the very end other than that we're just going to fly through it hopefully get janola in that loan pack because that'd be really nice and let me know what you think. So overall for it, again, I like it. They've given us a few more days as I felt like the last one was just that little bit quick. I personally had a very terrible second day. I only managed to win, I think, either one or two out of the five. So it really put me behind needing four on the final uh, day yesterday to get it done and make sure I've got all of the rewards before it goes out. So it was a little bit trickier. This one, I think, is definitely done done well. Um, obviously, you've got more, uh, well, more goes, in fact, per day. So that's not too bad. So you basically got double of the amount of tries to get this done. But unfortunately, if you do get, say, to... 13 14 15 whatever and then you don't have any more days and we go on to team four you will obviously get out of these packs the team four players rather than the heroes unless they roll them over and team four is everybody in packs which i would be a big fan of so let me know down below what you think make sure you like and subscribe and let me know if you can get this done in a week make sure you like and subscribe peace